8th of June, just uh, early in the morning here. Just enjoying a nice morning up on the 6th floor in Isram. Before we pack all this stuff away, once again, get it in the bags and then get on the road again. We got what we came for, two visas, so now it's time to get going, even though we're a little bit tired this morning. Oh, our legs are aching. <laughs> When you come to your hotel, you open your bags up and take it over everywhere. And so when you are going, you need to pick everything away again. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, it doesn't take long though, does it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, legs are still tired. I think we could do with another day's resting. You know, one day's resting is not enough just to <laughs> get refreshed. But uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get going again. And uh, head towards cars on the border of Georgia. Okay. Back out on the street. That's our hotel there. Let's, uh, let's leave the town here of Isaron and get on the road again. Okay, back to the town of Isaron here. So we'll be passing by the twin minarets that we saw yesterday evening. There's the twin towers. Ninety-six to cars. Question our way now to Yerevan in Armenia. It's our next main destination. Um, but to get there, we have to pass through Georgia. I'll just show you a map now. You can see that. If we look at the map from Isarum to Yerevan in. I mean, you'll be probably thinking, why do they have to go to Georgia? Why head, why head so far north and then down again to Yerevan? Well, that's the reason of that is because uh, the border between Turkey and Armenia is closed. It's actually been closed since 1993. So that's the reason why we can't just head straight to Yerevan. We have to go to, to Georgia first. But uh, we'll only be a very short time in Georgia, just in a tiny corner in the south. Probably one day's biking maybe, or two, and then we'll be in, heading down Armenia. We have a short climb here out of Israel. And it should actually be 150 kilometers, basically, downhill, or pretty flat. So, that'll be nice. This route here, we have to pass through a town called Kars. Um, just before there, there's a mountain we have to pass. 2,000 meters, but it's pretty short, really. It takes 13 kilometers uphill, and we have downhill again, nearly all the way to the border of Georgia. So, shortly, we're just on the top of the first hill, and we should be able to enjoy a lot of downhill. Okay, 150 kilometers of downhill. Starts here. And what animals do we have to look out for? Cows. That's not too bad. Better than the sign we saw a few days ago when there was bears. <laughs> to ride a bike, sit here and roll. <laughs> Next 100 kilometers stays like this, then it's going to be pretty enjoyable. I think we we'll even have a tailwind. <laughs> it's all that hard work before as a woman as it can. Gotta get the reward for that. She's never ridden on a road like this before. She's got the most perfect slide. Descent, so you're just falling nice and slowly, and there's a nice tail winter. It just rolls a little 33 kilometers an hour, it just keeps on going like this. So, 
the shepherds over there. Continues to fall. Really nice biking here when we go flat and the bike is just rolling on its own. Before we came to Turkey, I thought it would be rough roads and uphill, downhill all the time. Like, but there is actually many flat paths here in the middle of Turkey. Castle up on top of the hill. Feels a little bit like we're transported back to Albania, this part of Turkey. That was a really interesting town we just visited. What a surprise, the road's still going down. spot for today. Pretty nice place, nice to be out in the world again. You can see this bread we just bought from a baker there in a top town. Look at that for our bread. That costs, what did that cost? 40 pence. What's that yeah. yeah. So, I really enjoy that here. Before we get back on the amazing flat straight road. <laughs> This is today lunch and yeah you can see it's this kind of bread and it's very good, very good. Just come out of a actual log oven as we still actually warm as we eat it now. Amazing. The kind of thing you can get anywhere else. <laughs> Whoa, and a bit of uh, butter on. Oh it's delicious, really fresh, yeah. just like Oh, mix between the pizza bread dough and um, fresh bread. Wonderful. Well, that was 45 kilometers before lunch. <laughs> Let's get back on the road. Let's see how this afternoon goes. Okay. Now the road's flattening out. Let's see way into the distance here where we're heading now. Okay, tailwind didn't last all day, now we've got headwind, that's the way it is, and we're still doing 20 kilometers an hour, so that's not too bad, amazing. This is the camping spot today. It's a, it is a petrol station, well, service station, but I've seen an abandoned service station we turned up. Turned it on Google Maps when we turned up, it was abandoned, but there's people in the shop there, they said we could stay here. So there's a, a 
toilet there, so it'll be okay for tonight. Did uh, 78 kilometers today, so that was uh, the easiest 78 kilometers we've done so far. But uh, now we all want to get to get to Georgia. I think now we've uh, seen enough of Turkey now. Now it's time for a new country, so now we'll press on the next few days. I think we've got about we've got about four days, I think, and we should be at the border of Georgia. So now we've been in Turkey for what uh, over a month. So now it's time for a new country. So yes, and now Jamie is uh, yeah chopping everything out. Me and Mama doing it. Yeah. Let me get the cookie going here. And then it's time for dinner. Oh, some nice mentions up here. I can show you. This looks good. Really nice view from the mountains over there. So, that's it. That's the camping spot today. Another service station camping. But tomorrow we just found a nice uh, nature park on the. Uh, on the way to cars, which uh, uses a ski resort in the summer, they said it's good for camping, so that sounds nice. Might be a nice change from a uh, petrol station, so we'll see if we can get there tomorrow. It's uh, pretty flat for the first 50, We're still on this uh, slow, gradual downhill, but then we have to climb 13 kilometers up to 2,000 meters. So, got to do a little bit more work today than tomorrow than today, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So, we just had our dinner, so it's good night. Now here from deserted petrol station camping. The road is right out here. And we are here. It was probably a nice place once with these little picnic. Oh, it's a bit dark now. With these little picnic houses here when the restaurant used to be open. But now it's all closed down, unfortunately. We couldn't see that on Google Maps and thought it was open, but it wasn't. But anyway, there were some people here when we came and they said we could stay and it was a quiet place to stay, so we are here now. So, and then they put the lights on for us here up in the trees. A bit bright. <laughs> a bit bright. I hope they turn them off later. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're gone now. <laughs> so, that's the camping site for today. Might actually look on the film a little bit better than it is now. It's okay, but there's a lot of rubbish and overgrown everywhere and but it's okay. Good for one night. It's good Feel for one night. Please can stay here. It's just a stop of walking in the way. So a dog friend of mine. We have a dog here. We just had the rest of our food so hopefully he's not he's right now. Him. Not parking in the way. <laughs> so yeah. Good night. <laughs>